Any other questions? Okay, you looking forward to finally playing the game at home? Oh, yeah. I mean, love playing a game in front of the fans. You know, the fans always give us juice and energy. I mean, we always come in, um, you know, regardless. But, you know, love playing at home, you know, on our home turf in front of the fans. Really good. Looking back at film, what happened with that uh, second half fumble there? Um, second half fumble, you know, I'm going to completely, you know, take ownership of that. You know, when the ball touched my hands, you know, I got it secured in my gut. So, you know, that fumble's all on me. You know, I just got to move on, what's next, and, you know, play the next play. You know, forget about it. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, when that, um, you know, significant event happens in the game, you know, we really want to double down on the process and practice, you know, find out, you know, what's the issue and then just like, you know, have, you know, good meshes from here on out, you know, do extra meshes after practice, before practice, just to prevent that problem. Oh yeah, I definitely found a rhythm in Boulder. You know, um, you know, when I got you know a few touches, got warmed up, you know, warmed up the body. You know, I felt saw the holes faster. You know, it was really good. But you know, when that fumble happened, kind of like you know slowed down the rhythm. But you know, just like you know, play the next game. You know, be good. Those balls on the ground in the first half, they were all they were all kind of unforced. I mean, Colorado didn't have a forced fumble in, in any of those. Um, did that come? I mean, it just happened in the game. I mean, we had a great week of practice. Great week of practice, no balls on the ground. I mean, it just happened. You know, it happened. It was a mistake that happened, and we got to move on from it and then just like double down on the process. You know, really, really stick to the process because process works. You know, we just got to execute it on Saturdays, and that's been our issue. So we're going we're gonna to get it right. What, what, what's your sense of? Uh, you know, we're going to take every opponent as the same. You know, we're going to treat these guys like they're Michigan. So, you know, we can, you know, beat them. But, you know, we, Northern Illinois, is a, you know, they have a good defense, good defensive line, you know. So we're preparing for that. And we're going to see what happens Saturday. How important is it you establish some offensive identity this week and just kind of get that rhythm and play four quarters? You know, we just have to, you know, do what we do, you know, execute. Execute is the biggest word for this offense. We have to execute, you know, do our job, do our job to the fullest and, you know, let everything take for itself. You know, play free. We just have to play free, you know, and execute the job, keep the balls off the ground, you know, so the quarterback can find, you know, open receivers and hand the ball off good. When a running back scouts an opposing team, what are you watching when you scout uh, I look first. I look for the front. You know, look if it's a four down or three down, and I look for the um, how how their backers are, how their backers feel. You know, how they come, how they attack the gaps. You know, how they attack tackles and stuff like that. Look at the defensive line. You know, how, how they are. You know, how twitchy they are. You know, if they come come down fast, come down like however they come down. And look at the safeties. Look at their DBs. You know how the DBs. How I can make the DBs miss in the open field. You know how they come down and tackle. So really, just the defensive structure and, and how they are. That's how I prepare for them. I mean, they, yeah, the staff, even they deal with adversity, they're still going to double down on the process. They're still going to believe in their process and, you know, do what they believe in. And that's what we have been doing. It hasn't been working out for us, but we're just trying to still believe because we know we, we're a good team. We're, we just have to put it all together. How would you size up, turnovers aside, how, how would you size up the running game so far just as a whole? I mean, the running game's there. You know, there's a few things that we need to clean up in the running game, but it's there. You know, we just have to put it all together. I mean, we're, we're a good run, run team, you know. We just have to play a full, complete game, and you'd be surprised with the result. Do you get a sense of urgency from the offense needing to put points on the board in the first half, which you guys haven't been able to do yet? Urgency. I mean, urgency is something that Coach Satterfield been um, emphasizing throughout all camp, you know, but we got to have more urgency on the football field. Even if we attack, how we attack the huddle, how we attack the line of scrimmage, we got to have urgency. You know, that's something that we really have to work on and, you know, pursue on the Saturdays. Is it a challenge um, to double down on the process? I mean, it's one thing to do it when you're winning games. Is it more difficult in, in this scenario where you start out going to? I mean, it's difficult, you know, when you start on two and double down the process, but you really have to believe in it, you know, from the first, from the jump, you know, the process is set, and that's something you got to believe in it when you're doing good or when you're doing bad, you know, it's the process. So it's what we believe in, our culture, you know, so we just have to really buckle down on it so we can start winning some games. Hey, I, I know you, you don't make the decisions on the field, but 
know how many carries you get, but for you personally, what's a good number for you? Like it seemed like you got into the flow on to Saturday more so than. I mean, you know, I want I want carries. I mean, I just have to produce with the ball. You know, I, it really doesn't matter how many carries I get. I really just have to, every time I touch that ball, I have to get positive yards and, you know, have an effective run from it. You know, whatever Coach Rule and Coach Satterfield want to get feed me, you know, I'm, I'm here for it. You know, I'm just going to do what I need to do and do my job effectively. Is it easier to do your job when you are getting fed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way easier. I mean, you know, see on Saturday when, you know, I get in the rhythm, it's pretty good. But, you know, I just got to keep on doing what I'm doing. I feel like I feel like Jeff is really good mentally. You know, when when things are going bad, you know, it's it's so it's so easy to just like you know fold and have like a sad face and everything. But that dude right there, he's gonna keep on coming and he's gonna act like nothing happened because like that's 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 the, what you need to do. So like you know, Jeff is handling this adversity really good. You know, he's keeping each other up. You know, along the way. You know, but he's really he's really handling this mentally mentally good. Oh, me and, me and H go way back. I mean, I lived with H when I first got here, you know what I'm saying? So me and H be in the backyard in our old house running balls, you know, just like throwing and catching balls. So me, I'm not worried about, you know, if Harring's in the game, you know. We just going to do what we do, you know, and execute. Thank you.